Hi, my name is Aldo Colombini and welcome to the Impromptu Card Magic series. Please, Roberta, cut a small packet of cards on less than half, it doesn't any matter, okay? Now secretly count how many cards you have. I don't want, don't let me, don't let me see it, just secretly count how many cards you have. Done? Yeah. Fantastic. So everybody knows how many cards you have. I will show you some cards here and remember the card that falls on the number that you have. In other words, if you have two cards, one, two, you will remember the second card. If you have ten cards, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, you remember the ten cards, okay? Don't stop me when you get to that card. Let me go. I don't want to have any clue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15, you have already had seen your card, yes. yes. Now remember, I have no idea how many cards you have, and I have no idea where your card is. Basically, I don't have any clue regarding your selection. Mm -hmm. Maybe. I know something about your card, actually. I know that your card could be an ace. A-C-E could be a 2. T-W-O could be a 3. T-H-R-E-E -E could be a 4. F-O-U-R. Or could be a 5, F-I-V-E, -E. could be a 6, S-I-X, 7, S-E-V-E-N, could be an 8, E-I-G-H-T, am I correct? Could be a 9, N-I-N-E, could be a 10, T-N-T-E-N, could be a Jack, J-A-C-K, or could be a Queen, Q-U-E-E-N, or why not, a King, K-I-N-G. Clever, huh? Yes. They pay me for these things. I, just tell me the name of your card now. Seven of Spades. Watch. Isn't that amazing? Oh my God. Dracula and his younger brother, Jacula. Da 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 da. Please remove uh, nine cards. Three packets of three cards each, please. Beautiful. Okay. We don't need this anymore. Now, please pick up one packet, shuffle it if you want. And look at the bottom card and show it to everyone. Please place this packet on top of uh, another packet and the other one on top so you sandwich that yeah. card. Fantastic. Let's shuffle it a little bit. Now during the night, during the night, the two vampires are hunting for victims. Let's place these one on top and one on the bottom. And they go up and down all around and finding their victims. Yes. Try to find their win. In this case, oh, they captured three, just three victims. One of these three must be your card, the two of hearts, the eight of spades, and the ace of clubs. Don't tell me anything. Don't help them. Don't help them. Let's do one more time. Let's see one more time what kind of victim they captured. Oh, yes, only one. Only one card. What's the name of your card? Nine diamonds. Oh, so it wasn't one of the three cards? No. Oh, but you need from two, <laughs> from two uh, vampires, the only thing you can wait is a sucker trick. <laughs> so it is the one. <laughs> it is the one. So I just removed the four aces and actually let's uh, leave the aces on the table. But also very important, um, cutting the deck like this, I found one card and I leave this card on the table. Remember that this card was on the table at all time from the very beginning. Now please remove any card that you like and sign the name, your name, on the face of that card. I don't want to see it. A card that you like. Okay, sign the name on, on the face of that card. And then turn it face down, show it to everyone eventually. Also, I want to point out that in case you forget the name of the card, you will not forget your name, so we will be able to find your card at all time. Wonderful? Then Now is the moment to recap. Oh, you already did. Good. Uh, please place your card on top of this package. So we have five cards here. One, two, three, four, and five. Watch. I'm going to make your card disappear. Done. One, two, three, and four. Only four cards. Clearly only four cards. Remember I said this card was on the table at all time. Watch. Ace of spades on top, ace of clubs on the bottom, and the two black ace are back in my hand. Of course, now we have here on top and on the bottom, 
the two red aces. And remember, this card was on the table at all time from the very beginning. What's the name of your card? Two spades. Oh, hopefully with your signature. Yes, is this. <laughs> wow. I will show you something strange with just three cards. Let's see. And it's very easy to follow because it's easy. It's as easy as one, two, and three. <laughs> I wrote that myself. Okay. The three of spades, the two of spades, and the ace of spades. Okay, watch. Three, two, and one. I place the deck on top of the one, and magically, believe me or not, the ace jumps to the top. And the two on top like this, snap or hit, and the two comes to the top, to the bottom. I place the three in the middle like this, more or less in the middle of the deck. Okay, ace and two. Watch very careful now. You won't believe this. Ace and two, and this is the three. I push the three in the middle. Watch carefully what happened. The three appears between the two and the ace. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, thank you. No, no, not, not yet. Uh, are you good at math, Ro Roberta? Not that Please good. put your hand like this. Three and two and one is six. <laughs> oh, yes. 